Okay, hello everybody. Welcome back to the Daily Thread. Before Shalema to everyone in the world. <laughs> oh man. We've got stuff flying around like a Oh my gosh. It's like a bug. I spoke around. to I spoke to a local urgent care recently and they told me that uh, their their customer the patient patient, uh, patient uh, pool has doubled like overnight. I know there's a lot of stuff going around and um, a lot of kids a lot of kids are out of school. Things are going around. People are getting sick. It's that time. I guess the flu season came early this year, which is really... I think it's a combination of things you're saying. This RSV thing, whatever yeah. that is. And I think that's for kids mostly. Mm -hmm. and there's, the, there's the usual flu bug. Yeah. Uh, and then there's a little smattering of COVID, you know, still you flying so? around. Um, I haven't really heard the yeah, C word. I know, haven't heard the C word recently. I'll tell you, no, I'll tell you two things. First of all, the... Besides for Bill Clinton. I heard this morning that in China, they're easing the restrictions. Are they? You know why? Because of the street protests. Of course, they were getting serious. Oh. And they were unnecessarily harsh with the people. Can you imagine locking them in their building so they can't get out of their buildings? And, uh, that, sending, people, what, and sending people to camps? That's what they do. That's what they do. Crazy. Uh, you know, besides besides making sneakers for uh, Nike. Nike. Do um, you call it Nike? Nike. Oh. Um, okay, so let's delve into the inbox. And inbox. We have to follow up on yesterday's. Program. Yeah, we have we a, lot of a lot of topics yesterday. A lot of emails. Hi, thanks for your podcast. It's really enjoyable. I just wanted to respond to the comment made on how the from system needs to open up a little. I'm a drop puzzled on how you got to this conclusion. The shit of mm -hmm. crisis is a relatively new phenomenon, mm -hmm. and so is the idea of dating. Back in Europe, there was one or two meetings, and then they got married. The more open we became, the harder it is to actually put a ring on it. I'm not suggesting that we go back to meeting once and barely knowing each other, but you can't claim that being more open will make it easier for us to actually get married. Maybe it'll help us go on more dates and have fun, but not necessarily will it get us results we want. For proof, look at the extremes. Hasidim have no crisis, at least in the Shidduch arena, while non-Jews aren't even thinking of marriage as an option. So I happen to agree with that. Well, it's not accurate. Uh, it's really not true. Why is that uh, not true? First of all, you see, this is exactly what I was referring to yesterday. It, it, you, it's either one extreme or the other extreme. It's not an ex what do you There's mean? There's a, a she's saying that either if if you're going to loosen up the 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 reins, so to speak, or what this person, I guess it's a young lady. No. Yeah, I don't know how young, but it's a lady. Uh, okay, let's say that everyone's a young lady. If they're alive, they're a young lady, okay? Okay, yeah. Okay, so um, uh, if you loosen up the restrictions, you're already at the other end of the uh, spectrum. You're already in the other extreme. There's a lot of room in between uh, because the system right now is is very, um, is very uh, there's, there's a paralysis in, in the system, uh, I think, for many, many it's people. Like it's like bottlenecks? Many, many people. I'm not talking about, listen, it's, it's, uh, let me tell you, let me be very clear. It's corrupted. Ooh. And for the people below that line that could deal with the corruption uh, by circumventing it, by being able to um, um, uh, display material resources, um, it's, a, it's a big problem for people. Uh, so it's not one extreme or the other. I don't know, but I think she was sort of um, going at the solution that you offered, and, and I kind of hear... Was, what was the solution that I offered? Go to parties? I didn't say that. You, you said be more open, and if you look in the non-Jewish yes, world, okay. they're, not even, they're, they're as open as possible. They're not even thinking about okay, marriage. Okay, no right married. away, right away, right away. She's at the other extreme. I wasn't recommending that. I made it very clear. I wasn't suggesting Probably that. In the communities that it's more open, are we seeing are we seeing an easier time getting married, or are you seeing people who are older and single and more relaxed and chilled because they're having a good time? Well, listen, the population is grown so uh, proportionally there's always going to be additional situations that are going to be brought to your attention where there are uh you know older singles but uh, it shouldn't have to uh, it shouldn't have to be so pervasive it shouldn't have to be so widespread um uh, but the people the, the the problem is the people that can change it for the people that who could change it the leadership what you call the asconum uh the the leadership that can change it they don't know there's a shit of crisis. Because you know uh, there isn't a shit of crisis for them. Oh, but they understand good and well. No. By the good convention, it was a very strong topic, and everyone was very no, well no, aware I was of not, it. I wasn't there, but I, at, that, at that level, they're discussing it like, a, we said yesterday, like a mathematical problem or a scientific uh, hypothesis. For people that cannot find a match for young men, young men and women in their upper 20s and 30s and 40s, it's not just a theoretical thing. Listen, I, I think I, I agree with you. I think on one thing that you said yesterday, and just one is that is that all right? That's yeah. that's big progress. Yeah, it's big progress. Is that I don't I don't think it does a I don't think it does a service for us to. I think a lot of the language that's used when we discuss the shadow crisis is I nebuch, 
it's such it's such sorry. I don't I think, know. It, I, don't I, think that, it does, that, I don't think it does I don't think it does people any favors when they're 28, 29, 30, 31 who are single to hear themselves talked about in some terms. Some people will say, "Oh no, it's validating. It's being empathetic." I don't think I I kind of think it's like, "No, I'm not." <laughs> never. It should be it should be its own category. You shouldn't have shaduchim in the same context as a refuah shlema for a chayla. You know? It, or, 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 I, so, again, so let's I, I, I would love to hear what the people think about that. I would love for older singles to chime in. Like, do you feel validated? Do you feel the empathy when people talk about the, the older no, singles in such they, a they, they don't, they don't, such they don't, they don't They don't want you to feel empathy for them. They want to be able to I, that's meet. That's what I want to know. They want to be able to meet people and get married like normal, regular people. We're not allowing it. Because if they do that, then they have like this. They're categorized as, uh-oh, you know that is? Personal foul. No, I don't know. The, 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 that's the, there has to be if if the leader, again if the leadership wants to do something productive to break the logjam, then they have to come up with a, a formula that is not either one extreme or the other. Either you're sitting around waiting for a shotgun to call you, or you're out uh, partying uh, day and night at uh, singles events, like you said, uh, like you said yesterday. There's a lot of room in between. You want the different categories of what there's available in between. I, I I can't I can think about it, but I can't give you. A, I would love a, a I would right love now. for for singles and and people involved in this area to chime in. Please send us a message on WhatsApp. The link is in the description in the show notes. You can send us an email as well if that's what you're holding. The Daily Thread right, at first of all, You know I want. I'm not saying do away machitza and shul. Obviously, Whoa, there has to be. How did we get there? I didn't say that. You I, just did. I, I said I'm. I, I said clearly. I'm not suggesting doing away with. A I know, but that's a <laughs> that's that's a way. That's not a good place to start. I'm not, I'm not suggesting doing away with machitza and shuls. I'm not suggesting that. I'm suggesting that not separating people when it's not a, a religious imperative to to separate them. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, so it could it could be done in a bakavadik way, that, that in a respectful way. And, and in a decent way that, that people can uh, can meet. And guess what? And they should be allowed to talk to one another, you know? And if they're adults, they're 25 years old, they should be able to have a mature, intelligent exchange with uh, a boy with a girl and a girl with a boy. I don't without- think we're institutionally... Uh, sorry, if someone's at a certain age, they can go ahead and be an adult and do that. Um it comes to a certain age. And I don't the, think that the, I don't think that institutionally we're not allowing that. But no, in order I, to I, say I, that, I think institutionally we're not allowing it you're, for a twenty-seven-year-old. You're in a you're a big boy. Do what you want to do. Like all right, and then and then and then then there's a stain on your reputation. Okay, if, well if you, you want to you, you got to lay out. in the bed that you make. You know, like is that is that the is that the metaphor? Yeah, something like that. If you have not yet watched clips or any sessions that took place at the Agoda Convention, please go ahead and go to agodaconvention.org. That's agodaconvention.org. A lot of the things that we're discussing here on the show this week really stem from the conversations and the sessions that happened there. Um, a lot of to- topics from Shaduchim about Ukraine, Chitzas, everything was discussed at this Agoda Convention by Rabbanim Askanim Gedolim. So go to agodaconvention.org and check that out for yourself and get inspired and, and get up to date on what's going on in the world. Okay, and we're we going to try to break that down for you. Um, so that's, that's I want to close the, the parentheses on, on that topic for now. People can chime in and unless you unless you have something else to say. Okay, and what's, what else you got on your list? Uh, let's discuss the Twitter files. The Twitter files mm. is a really important topic. Uh, there's corruption been exposed at the highest levels of the Biden administration. Uh, everybody thinks that uh, the release of the material by on Twitter by Elon Musk, the new owner of Twitter, for the last four weeks. Everybody it's only thinks, been four weeks. Oh, yeah, man, a lot yeah, has yeah, happened. Yeah, everybody, everybody thinks that it's about uh, Hunter Biden. That Hunter Biden got money from China. That Hunter Biden is a drug addict. Uh, Hunter Biden was a drunk. It's not about Hunter Biden at all. It's about Joe Biden. It's about his corruption. It, it's about the possibility that the president of the United States is compromised. And that's why when he met pretty with... pretty scary. Uh, absolutely scary. When he met with President Xi two weeks ago in China, he couldn't ask him, uh, uh, couldn't press him about the origins of the, of the COVID virus because his family has made hundreds of millions, if not billions of dollars from China. So it, it was, And there's this threat... Hanging over the president of the United States with the relationships with China, with China, um, China, with Russia, and with the Ukraine. They have them over the barrel. Why are they sending tens of billions of dollars every couple of months to Ukraine? Because and can you imagine that he hasn't been in, uh, Congress hasn't started an impeachment because, against Joe well, Biden yet? Listen, you know, let me tell you, back up. 
Well, I want the, to go back the, a little further. I want to just explain to the people who aren't really aware of the Twitter files. The Twitter files claims to detail a decision that were taken by within the company and Twitter in 2020 when it made a decision to censor a story published by the tabloid containing unverified claims about U.S. President Joe Biden's son business activities in Ukraine. Now, those who, those who remember, a big story came up right before the election day about a Hunter Biden story, his laptop, and Twitter, it was a story by New York Post, and Twitter squashed the story. They okay. censored it. They deleted yeah. it from their platform. Right. Hunter Biden p- took his laptop into a, a Delaware repair shop, I think it was in Delaware, and he never picked it up. Right. And the owner of the repair shop, you know, didn't know who it was, so he had to look on the files, and he discovered all these things. Yeah. So he turned it over to the to the FBI. Now, the most important thing about all this is that this is going on for... Musk has Twitter for four weeks now. Since Friday night, he um, released all his information about the corruption of the Biden family. The major networks, ABC, NBC, CBS, CNN, the New York well, Times. CNN covered a little bit. Uh, no, the, the major networks have not covered it at all. They, uh, they, co- they, they conduct themselves as if it didn't happen. And that's not right. That's not how uh, journalism. More, uh, that's not how journalism and the news is supposed to work. And there's no one to prosecute. Crimes have been committed, and there's no one to prosecute because the Democratic Party controls Washington. And you have a Democratic uh, um, Attorney General in the Department of Justice and a Democratic President. Now on January third, you're going to have a little bit of a of a shift as the Republican majority is going to take over in the House, and they're going to be able to have hearings, and they're going to be able to embarrass and humiliate. And do damage to 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 Biden and his administration, but they're not going to be able to do anything concrete as long as Biden is in office, uh, and that's going to be like that for the next uh, two years. Mm-hmm. Even if they manage to impeach him, he's not going to be convicted because I don't know what's going to happen today in Georgia. With uh, either way, even if Herschel like Walker, the runoff, yeah. yeah, even if Herschel Walker in, wins in in in. Um, in Georgia today, it's still going to be 50-50 yeah. with this vice president casting the deciding vote, and they're not going to be able to convict uh, Biden even if he's impeached. Well, just, uh, you know, I think there's something called uh, trial by... Public opinion? Yeah, and public I think that's... Some, the, I think, the, I think, the court of public opinion. I think that's called. an important thing that we're dealing with right now. And again, I want to just elaborate on this. In October 2020, three weeks before the 2020 U.S. presidential election, the New York, New York Post published an exclusive story, Biden's Secret Emails. Um... Well, they they really got their hands on a good a good story. Ukrainian exec thanked Hunter Biden for an opportunity to meet Veep Dad, um, which was the VP, which was, yeah, when he was at that time, president. yeah, yeah. During the Obama VP Dad, the story uh, the story purported to report the contents of a laptop brought to a tabloid by the owner of a computer repair shop, who said it had belonged to and had been abandoned by President Biden's son, second son, Hunter Biden. At the time, Biden was a Democratic nominee for the upcoming presidential polls. Emails and files found on the laptop purportedly revealed how Hunter Biden had peddled influence with Ukrainian businessmen. After the story was published, Twitter barred anyone from tweeting a link to it or sending it via direct message, labeling it, labeling it hacked material. The company also suspended the post account for multiple days, preventing it from tweeting it further. Jack Dorsey had later tweeted that blocking the links without providing more context was unacceptable, and Twitter changed its policies shortly after restricting the Biden story, saying it would label tweets to provide context instead of, instead of blocking links to stories. That that is just like corruption. Listen, we to, have we have we have corruption. You, can I ask you a question: Do you think Joe Biden would be today's president had this story come out to the that, full, that, full degree? That was, that was the motivating factor behind all this to prevent Trump from becoming president. That's why they resorted to such illegal activity because they didn't want Donald Trump to win. Trump would have won. And let me tell you something. I lived through the Watergate era, through Nixon. That was you like were, you were alive then. Yeah, I was alive then. Oh. Uh, yeah, that, that, were, that, oh. that that was for that was like for little girls. Watergate compared to uh, really to compared to what's going on now with Biden and uh, China and uh, Russia. I lived through uh, defl- I, I lived through the the Deflate Gate when Tom Brady deflated the footballs before the Super Bowl. Was oh, that it? That was yeah. a big thing by you. Yeah. Tom Brady, huh? Yeah. So Tom what do we Brady, make? Richard what do we? Nixon. What? Yeah. What do we make of the Twitter files? While Musk promised that the revelations would be a bombshell, Tabi's Twitter thread failed to create the impact you would have hoped for. That is mostly because one of the major reasons. While the screenshots show how the company decided to suppress the post story, it sheds no lo- no light on why that decision was taken. It reaffirms a number of things that had already been known publicly like who takes content moderation decision at the company and at the same time fails to shed light on questions about whether those decisions okay. were taken because of any political influence or control. I think it's pretty clear okay. that the decisions were made because of political uh, influence uh, and control. Content moderation is another way of saying censorship. 
Okay, and that's a violation of the First Amendment of the Constitution. People have should be free to express themselves. And that and that's what's going on now. That's why they're accusing uh, uh, the the uh, the White House uh, press secretary said yesterday uh, that uh, since uh, Musk took over uh, Twitter, uh, there's uh, uh, it's filled with anti-Semitism. Because listen, you know we're all against anti Semitism. It's kind of true. It's crazy. I yeah, mean, but like, that 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 that's part of the freedom of expression. So I feel like Alex Jones should sort of, should sort of like that's, lose his. That's part. Of, listen, Alex Jones was convicted uh, in in the Sandy uh, Hook. in the Sandy Hook of having to pay uh, the families over a billion dollars. Okay, and that's why he declared bankruptcy. You? you know, a lot of our discussions go back to to a really sh- you know, and I don't know where we both stand on this, but do we let everything go or do we censor? Meaning, does a person like Alex Jones deserve a platform? Or do we say, hey, listen, like, everyone could have a platform. You could choose who to follow, who not to follow. But, again, we um, see we, yes. we see yeah, that this the, causes an incitement no, of violence. The, the answer is yes to an extent. It has to be, it has to, be to a responsible extent. The What's cl- that extent, though? Where do you draw the, the line? You're free to say whatever you want, but you can't go into a crowded theater and scream fire. You can't do that. You cannot endanger people's lives. But this Twitter business, this content moderation... Uh, this protecting uh, Joe Biden for taking billions of dollars from China and Russia, that doesn't enter into that category of uh, risking other people's lives. All does was expose him as being a, a criminal. Uh, that's all. Him and his uh, his brother and his and his son uh, they they indulge in criminal activity. And the sad thing is, there's no one to prosecute them because Democrats it's, it's it's a scary it's a scary thing because as a kid in school you think that bad guys get punished, and in this scenario we're just seeing the bad guys get away with their crimes time and time again. It's scary. And you don't have to go back too far because when William Barr was the Attorney General during the Trump administration. When he didn't like something Trump did, he said so. Now the Attorney General Merrick Garland can't say a word critical of the Biden administration. He's got to keep his mouth closed, not say a word. God forbid, prosecute somebody or bring somebody up on charges. It's just unthinkable. It's not doable. And we are seeing corruption in its uh, highest, on its highest levels, in its uh, purest form. And uh, what can I tell you? If nothing else, it'll be very interesting to see uh, well, how this evolves. I think I think uh, a, a big, uh, I think a, a lot of people who are listening to this right now from Eretz Israel are saying yes, yes, move here, move here. And someone from Nefesh Benefesh came over to me on Shabbos at the Agoda Convention, and he had offered the, to come on to the Daily Thread and discuss some of the statistics that he's seeing, um, which is interesting. But like. Uh, it, Maybe that's the answer. Maybe we just got to get out of this mess because we can't do anything about it. Well, this, uh, listen, there's a lot of interesting things. Uh, Israel's not having the exact same problems, but it's very interesting things are going on as Netanyahu tries to form uh, a government which is dominated by uh, the religious parties. It's not not having an easy time because he's being uh, very uh, intensely criticized by uh, by the left. It's a different issue. It's a better issue probably to be dealing with, I'd say. Yes. I think there another topic I want to discuss, probably the final topic for today is is people have been messaging me about this. And I don't really uh, question should I bring it up, should I not bring it up? I think it's important because I don't know I don't know what the solution is, like most things. But um from let's say from influencer or influencers using their platform, which they have many, many thousands, tens of thousands of people following them, and using their platform to criticize different aspects of from life. Um, what? Thinking like, that they're what 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 you know for example I think life dating kashrus well, well for for example I'll give you an example an example is um, the erasure of women in in in, in magazines or you know that That's women the, are second class citizens in the from world you know what you can agree you you can say hey listen I think that mishpacha ami these magazines should have women in the magazines guess what the CEO of mishpacha may agree with you. I think it's a business a business decision. I think he said that probably that it was a business decision. Wait, let's move forward a, from that. That's, but I think a, that's just a that's just a that's not an, that's a non answer answer. It's not a non answer. What, what was the business decision? No one's going to read the magazine if there's pictures of uh, uh, of a woman's in the news and you have a picture. Sir, if you have a a, 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 a UN ambassador that's a woman, if you you're telling a story, you have a her picture. Uh, it, it, certain homes wouldn't ta- I, I, certain homes wouldn't take it in. They, that's not their problem. They're just trying to sell magazines. Okay, let's move on from that. But but I guess sort of taking on the war that women are second class citizens in in the from world. They're not treated properly, and I don't think that's the truth. 
I don't of think that's not. true. No, that 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 stems. But they from, use their platform, or honestly, they. And I'm not going to war against influencers. Many people use their platform uh, correctly, and you know who you are. And the ones who don't, you know who you are. But to go to war against the from world and say they don't treat women properly, women are not given the same opportunities. It, it's just like first of all, it's a, it's a huge chal Hashem. But besides that, it's just not. It's not true. No, first of all, no. First of all, I don't think a, a program with. Just two men here and two men out there should be discussing the role of women in from life. If you want to discuss, we're not discussing the role of women, but we're discussing if, if the fact are, that they have a very integral, are, crucial role in our of in the course, community. Let it, let if you want to shed light on that and hear that side of the story, we should have someone on that could shed light on it and expound on it uh, with, with with some clarity. Um, uh, of course, if if, you, if you're saying that women are second second class citizens from life, I think it stems from a fundamental uh, misunderstanding of what the what the roles are. Of course, unfortunately, we live in a time in a time when they tr when general when the world in general when the people in, when the when the population in general is trying to blur the distinctions between men and women right to an ex to a crazy extent crazy extent to a crazy extent where men are in men and women are in women. You're gonna see you're gonna see women in the NBA soon. You will. Well, you see that you have you have referees or what are they called? Referees. Yeah, yeah. But you're gonna meaning the WNBA is not a successful league. They don't make money. <laughs> They're not profitable. And you're gonna see women playing in the NBA soon. And, and like well, one, of the, one of the one of the best players in the WNBA is in jail in Russia. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> it's, that's not funny. But she's a good ball player. You know, she was sentenced to like nine years in prison for yeah for a little marijuana. Well, listen. She violated the law, you know, and they they really want to make a prisoner change, but that's a that's a whole that's a that's a that's a that's a, that's a whole other subject, you know. And, and then you, then you have to back up a little bit and say, and if someone if someone if someone says they're from, but they don't keep Shabbos, are they from? How could, could a person say I'm a from person, but I don't keep Shabbos? Is a fundamental. They can say whatever disconnect. they want. Isn't this sort of thing? They can say they're, they, they're Barney. Same thing with influences that do damage to the community. They can claim they could be disguised as from influences, but the fact the fact of the matter is they're not. Why are they not from? Because they're they're violating certain uh, kind of major uh, uh, parts of uh, what it means to live a. Well, uh, someone speaks Russian higher than not from Jew. Well, they're they're uh, they're from Jew, but they're they're, they're transgressing. They're they're, they're, they're sinning. Okay, and if they know they're sinning and they continue to do it, uh, then uh, it comes to borderline well, I think they would. I, I would think that they don't look at themselves as sinning. They look at themselves as fighting the battle. Uh, they are they are warriors. They are fighting for what's right. Listen, you know you have you have uh, we had the situation in Eretz Yisrael every Rosh Chodesh. You had the women of the wall. They wanted a lane from a Sefer Torah in the women's section of the Kotel, and they showed up every Rosh Chodesh. Uh, and they would they would read from the Torah there. Women would read from the Torah there, and they wanted to stop them. And they emptied out the seminaries and the yeshivas to come to protest and to block them. And the more seminary students and the more yeshiva students that came, the more women came to to be part of the women of the wall. Then, when the yeshiva students and the seminary students stopped coming, the women of the wall stopped coming. And now it's quiet. Now mm. maybe three or four women show up. Nobody comes to protest. It doesn't make it into the news. Nobody's there, and nobody cares. If you're going to raise objections, you're going to uh, spur on and and motivate the you're saying don't give, don't don't give these people any the, tr any. the, tr the troublemakers more than anything else they want attention. Listen honestly, the people who are who have a problem with it, stop looking at at her or his posts. Simple. Stop looking. Stop looking. Don't follow. Block. Like it's very simple, and that that goes with every single part of life. Don't be the person that's complaining and finger pointing and macha macha. Make a macha in your own life. Don't look at what this person is posting. Don't engage with it, and there won't be an issue. And if every single makes that decision, every single person makes that decision within themselves, significantly less people will be seeing it, Absolutely. and this person will stop doing it. The internet is is very vast. You know, there's many what, millions of uh, yeah, there's of a lot of sites. How many yeah. people are on Instagram? Millions, probably. Billions, right. Billions. So you got to pick and choose. Uh, you go into a supermarket, you can't take everything on every single shelf and put it in your wagon. It's true. It's not going to fit into your car. It's also not something you can afford. And you have to look at sort of what you can afford in your mind. You only have a certain amount of space. So go ahead and follow the daily thread. You buy what you need. You like carrots, you buy carrots. You want apples, you get apples. You like olives? I don't like olives. Why not? I wouldn't buy olives. How about some chocolate pudding? I like chocolate pudding, yeah. Okay, we'll get some chocolate pudding for you. I don't know if we got. Did we get anywhere with that conversation? Listen, is someone sending us chocolate pudding? She's working on it. Someone's working on it. All right. From Chicago, I think. All right. It's, it's going to come frozen? 
I think if, it comes, if it comes frozen, it's going to be watery. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, go ahead and follow the Daily Thread on Instagram. Instead of the people who don't want to follow, follow Meaningful Meaningful Minute on Instagram. Follow Meaningful People Podcast on Instagram. And make sure to sign up to the Daily Thread WhatsApp account because we show more than just the headlines over there. We delve in behind the headlines, tell you the stories, and uh, we have exclusive content. It's clips from these from these episodes plus more. So go ahead, click the link in the description in the show notes. If you enjoy this episode, please copy the link and send it to a friend so they can enjoy it as well. We'll be back, right. we'll be back at you tomorrow with another episode, God willing, as long as yes, all sir. of us are feeling okay. Make sure yes, to stay sir. warm, stay healthy, maybe get a flu shot or don't. I don't know. Just... Uh, and, if you, and if you need a shidduch, hopefully you'll find a shidduch. Amen. Amen.